Wow, wow, well. Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard here. And again, if you like this channel and want some constant theme park updates, please give this channel a subscribe, uh, click on this uh, subscribe button, um, as well as click on the notification bell to get constant theme park updates. But we have a very interesting theory about here, the Avengers e ticket. And this is thanks to Parks Bros, I guess specifically someone named Mason, who gave Drew from Parks Bros uh, sh this information in, on the comics, in the comments. Because um, he pointed it out um, in a comment section or, or somewhere. But special thanks to Mason and Drew from Parks Bros, the YouTube channel. I'll link the video up top here as well. But they have some wild, not too wild actually, speculation on what the Avengers e-ticket attraction could be a California adventure. Yeah, if you look at the concept art, it shows again the jetpacks. The jetpacks are flying around and it shows guests in single seat jetpacks flying into the action. A lot of people thought, oh, maybe this is like flying the passage ride system. But Disney has said that um, this is never before seen uh, Technology here at least in a Disney park. I think that the exact words were never before seen in a Disney park now Here's where this thing the statement comes in Disney has a great relationship with Vacoma, right? The Vacoma um, build uh, Vacoma built the Tron coasters and Shanghai and coming to Florida Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind at Epcot is a Vacoma coaster um, Countless other coasters uh, have been Vacoma the one thing that's not a Vacoma that I can think of is um, the Incredicoaster at California Adventure. That is a rare move by Disney to, do into, to hire Intamin as their coaster contractor. So that, that's a rare move. But the rest of them, it's usually Vacoma um, that they work with. Um, very good late. Um, another Vacoma would be Ex Expedition Everest is Vacoma Coaster in Animal Kingdom. So, I'm, I see years, dating to years back, decades back, they've been working with Vacoma. So, very good relationship with them. And this is where it gets interesting. Previous rumors long, long ago, years all the way back to 2015, when the Eastern Gateway project was still happening and on track, and the Avengers coaster was supposed to go in the Hollywood backlot area. Um, then it got moved to behind the Guardians of the Galaxy, but still the Eastern Gateway was still happening. And the whole Hollywood backlot thing would become more Marvel, I guess. But no matter where the Avengers thing was, it was always, always rumored to be a coaster, a launch coaster themed to. Captain America at one point, the Avengers, Iron Man. But no matter the theme or the location, it was always, always meant to be a, a, a rumor to be a launch coaster, um, indoor launch coaster. Again, all the way back from 2015, when we started hearing rumors about this and Marvel Land was supposed to come and be ready um, for Star Wars Land to even out all the crowds never showed up. Now, we're here, and again, Disney used the words never before seen in Disney Park. Innovative prices have never before seen in Disney Park before. Vacoma, if you look on their website, and here's a picture of the concept art of this coaster right here, is coming out with a brand new flying coaster, a prototype. It even says on the website, soon to be announced. It hasn't even been announced yet. Yes, Vacoma has flying coasters, but this is a new flying coaster, something that is in no park. I mean, I think there's a prototype actually being built in Fantasia Land in Europe, but that's it. No, it hasn't really been officially announced, um, not in mass production. It would certainly be, I don't think there's a flying coaster in any Disney park at all. So that would be, uh, something that, um, would be innovative for a Disney park and never before, never before seen in a Disney park. But this Vacoma coaster, if you look at it on, again on the website, and I'll link the website below so you can take a look for yourself in the description. But the description of the coaster is that guests start sitting upright like this. Then they'll just like a typical like Tatsu, you'll go like this and you'll fly, you'll get in the flying position. But the coaster also have the chance to it mentions going through the dark ride portions. Um, 
dark red portions and then a seamless transition into the coaster portion via a launch, an indoor launch. And it specifically says um, that it's talking about like story elements that it specifically t says this coaster is made for slow story element sections then a launch into the um, dark, uh, coaster portion where you can be flying through story elements and flying through sets and things. And with also with the L L um, with the intent to do um, inversions and stuff like that if they want to do. And they even put some concept art on there of what the coaster can be in motion and it looks like it's going through, as Drew mentioned, not necessarily like an Avenger, like a, an Iron Man there, but it looks very, very like Marvel-y. Like it's not nothing reference to Marvel in there, but it just look, it almost looks like pictures of a, a like Guardians of the Galaxy and a, a Cosmic Rewind. Or the Spider-Man attraction. It just looks very techy and marvely of whatever concept art, concept art they chose. Also, the seats of the coaster on this coaster look not exactly, but almost like the seats that would are in the concept art the show gets flying over the action. And think about it. If you want to become a flying coaster, you can literally be flying over Wakanda, flying over the battle. If they use either real sets or a mixture of real sets and screens, you can literally fly over the action. I think of Paris the Caribbean, the Shanghai, how there's one boat and you're surrounded by these massive screens with 3D screens doing crazy things. Or Mickey Runaway, Runaway Railway is 2.5D. Or again, Cosmic Rewind. Surrounded by screens there when you do your reverse launch and again indoor launch coaster was the heavy thing for four years now It's been heavily rumored Not guaranteed But it could be could very lots of good points um, For a potential Vacoma launch coach the first one of the first ones actually and certainly Innovative in the first of its kind for Disney Park so comment your thoughts below. What do you guys think if it was a Vacoma launch coaster? Do you think it will be? Do you think it will be the ride system we saw with that uh, patent that Disney filed with the four seats in a row? We'll see. Um, comment your thoughts below. Click the subscribe button if you want more updates on what this coaster or Avengers e-ticket ride will be. Click the notification bell and again, share all your thoughts with me and have a, have a magical day.